inform how we can create core component. So let's go to the existing core component. How to do it? Now you can just add uh, right click. Uh, being if you update directly in the core component location, anyone who is using that component as their custom, how to create template types manually for editable template. Here they have already created an empty experience fragment for this brand where you can see uh, schedulers uh, where you can actually check. Uh, uh, so I have mentioned this, what I have copied from the system consoles. I'll take it and I'll see any, if there are any other uh, Okay, so yeah, basically the idea is you can update the properties. So I don't want to waste your and then 302 after this. Uh hey, hi everyone. Welcome to ITV one more time. Um, this time I will be taking care of uh, interview questions and answers and workflows. Uh, as part of my previous videos, uh, these are the comments which I have actually um, received from the audience that uh, please make a video on the workflow interview questions and answers. So I informed that my and definitely next video is on workflow. So I'll take care of workflow interview questions and answers in this uh, uh, video. And also uh, another question was, uh, how to create a new field for existing core components and how to create template types manually for editable templates and how user can give particular time without using cron expression definitely i'll actually cover these things first and then um, uh, i'll um, inform how we can create core components so let's go one by one first how to create a new field for existing core components so if you go to um, crxde of your uh, aem instance you can see core components under uh, apps core okay you see under apps um, you can actually see core components uh, apps core wcm components uh, accordion right if you go to v1 and you go to accordion this is the dialogue and you actually have these are all the field items right if you go to tabs if you go to items you can see accordion items and uh, inside that you'll have a column multi-field data everything and there's a properties where you'll have uh, uh, data related to <coughs> so these are the accordion properties which are being added single expansion expanded items all of that so the request here is uh, if you if you would like to add one more uh, uh, field to the existing core component how to do it uh, you can just add uh, right click uh, create okay create node and then uh, mention the resource type like here if you see resource type is uh, this is just uh, you can just expand it's a checkbox you need to copy the field and then you can just uh, add it so if you see what I'm trying to do uh, let's take uh, right click copy and in the items itself, right click, uh, paste. And then if you have single expansion, what I'm doing, single, I'm doing it to double expansion just to test it. Okay. And then uh, in double expansion, first you need to save all the data. Uh, after single expansion, if you go to double expansion, you can see the field description, uh, field title is there. So you need to. A single item expansion so you need to make it as double item so that uh, on the dialogue you can understand what is a new field which you have added as part of the implementation so that's important and you have got double uh, expansion here and then uh, you are mentioning this also as a checkbox so if you go to the page and then uh, you just check um, uh, the components if you go to edit template and uh, i think uh, the component uh, which one is the component accordion right accordion is part of which core wcm okay let's go to core wcm uh, template so core wcm will be under which location in editable template it will be it's taking a little time to load the page sometimes it's like that Load it. So I'll show, yeah, it will load a container here normally. 
so I think the container is not yet loaded. Go by edit section. So it's still loading. If you see, it's a screen. That's why it is taking lo a lot of time. So basically, if you go to edit template, you will actually drag and drop the component. Then uh, if you open the dialog, you will see the new field. So. But normally you are not supposed to update directly in the core components location. Reason being, if you update directly in the core component location, anyone who is using that component as their custom component reference, that will come to them. So you would never do that. Instead, you can actually have your own branch, right? Inside branch, you will create the component and mention sling resource super type to the apps core path. So you know how to put the sling resource super type to the apps core path. I'll show you. Um, How to add a sling resource so super type for four components in a so if you just type it uh, you can just see that uh, in the component uh, crxde if you go to the core components there will be under lips uh, lips path okay uh, lips wcm core components and you go to apps path you create the same structure and then uh, lips WCM core components button just mention sling resource super type to this under the JCR content node of apps path and then you save the changes you can get it so normally if you go to any of the uh, pages you can see uh, how the sling resource type is set up if you go to base uh, this page if you just see sling resource super type is set to SPA project core and uh, for your uh, uh, text component it will be set to apps core component so that's the answer for uh, one of the question how to create template types manually for editable templates so template types uh, basically out of the box they are available two template types one is uh, uh, base page template type another one is uh, uh, html5 template type if you go to apps and under conf uh, section uh, not under apps if you go to conf uh, basically you go to any brand like uh, if you go to a brand you'll see settings uh, WCM uh, templates here all the templates will be there and these are the two templates app template page template for this configuration if you want to create a custom uh, basically developers only can create so how do they can create uh, a uh, custom uh, this thing uh, basically what they can do uh, they can go to the uh, uh, templates section create a configuration site configuration and the site configuration will provide uh, template types or if you want to create a custom template type uh, if you can go here if you see and um, settings wcm see template types here you'll have uh, uh, empty page and uh, redirect page right you can just copy paste it here and then update the corresponding JCR content and policies. Then you will have that template type available to create templates directly for the user. So you can just directly go to uh, policies templates are the one node. Another node is template types. There you will out of the box two will be there. One is uh, empty page, another one redirect page. Here they have already created an empty experience fragment for this brand where you can see the JCR content is again uh experience fragment but uh, it is referring to which one you can see structure and jcr content it is referring to v retail component structure page okay and if you go to empty page also that will uh, refer to uh, v retail structure page so both of them referring to the same template type but some design changes they have added for uh, extra template type so that's the answer for the second one okay 